capability can be split into three areas, people capability, process capability, and system capability. So people capability is a combination of technical and soft skills that, the that people in the organization have to meet customer ex expectations and actually deliver on the experiences. It's, and it's important to keep in mind, it's not just the capabilities of those team members that directly are customer facing, but it's the capabilities of everyone in the company. It's supported by things like training, upskilling, knowledge management, everything like that. Process cap capabilities, how well the processes in the company support the actual delivery of customer and business goals and support the people to do what they need to do. Process, process can be automated or manual, but they have to be able to do what, they, uh, what has been designed. And I, I should point out the order of these is, is laid out on purpose because the process does support the people and the system supports the process and the people. And the last one of these is system capability. So these are the tools and systems of the company and how well they support the people and processes to achieve the customer and business goals. And from what I've seen and, and lots of examples, often systems hinder the people and processes. They don't help. And it's one of the major gaps that and issues that companies have. Probably the easiest way to understand these is to look at an, an example. So let's Im imagine an online retail business that sells clothing. And they've defined a number of critical activities in their experience and critical moments that you can see down the left-hand side, virtual changing room, live chat, next day delivery and free returns. And you can see the people capability, process capability and system capability at a high level that has been defined for these moments. So for example, for the virtual changing room, not a lot of people capability, but they've got in process capability, they have to for new product onboarding, adaptive 3D model the products so that it can be included in the virtual change room. And the system has to be, and there has to be an online system that allows 3D views of clothes. Let's move to the next day, delivery. People capability, you have to have people to pack and ship products immediately. Doesn't have to necessarily be people, but a lot of companies use people to do that. The process has to have next day courier processes in place, and there has to be a logistic system capable of managing next day delivery. This delivery one is one where I often see business capability not matching the experience that, that companies want to give their customers. There's been a lot of talk recently about same day delivery um, to match like Amazon and eBay and things like that. And there's a lot of companies that aspire to same day delivery, but their businesses are just not capable of doing it. Um, they don't have the people process or systems in place to actually get that done. Hopefully this gives a flavor of the capabilities component of the rocket. There's a lot 